UK to start. Yeah. So, Mark, I've um, talked through your emotions after that. It was a battling performance, but perhaps that's a bit come away with Yes, uh, good evening all. Tough, tough result for us. Definitely is a tough result for us. I think um, credit for our players. They deserve clear more than this game that we, we took. I know that as their obligation, Arsenal had more possession, much more around our box, more shots for sure, more corners. I don't have all the, the, the stats, but for sure. Uh, but I don't see many, many clear chances from, from them. Um, even if they have around, uh, around our box, more that I would like to, to see, definitely. Um, better second half than the first one on the ball from ourselves. Uh, we knew that the space will start to appear more in the second half. Credit to Arsenal as well, the way they pressed us in the first half. We didn't play on, on the ball with that dynamic that I would like to, to see. But in our office, office, defensive organization, we did really well. From the first minute, the, the, the togetherness, the, the, the commitment there as well with our plan, we. And the players took with the plan from the first minute until until last one, which changes sometimes change the formation as well. When you have to, um, in some moments, to go more forward after the the one one and the two one, the, our reaction was really good straight away as well. Again, I think even we with Arsenal more around our box with more chances. Of course, I think our players deserve more from the game that we took, but at the same time we took many positives. Really bad luck this evening, the way we considered the two goals um, after the the one nil for us. We knew what will happen. They will take more risk. When they took one defender, we know what will happen there, but the space will be bigger for us probably to um, to punish them more. Um, and in that moment, the way they scored the goal with that deflection uh, was really bad luck. And the second goal they scored, they, they don't know how they scored the goal. That is the, the reality. Even so, after the two, the 1-1, one, one, we had a big chance with Mitrov again to score the 2-1. The and after the 2-2, two, two, we had again a big chance from Nathan Shababa to score. Unfortunately, um, didn't come for us the result, but we, with this attitude, this commitment, the ambition that we showed this afternoon, uh, will come for us in the future. I don't have doubts. Last season was all about scoring goals in the championship. But this year, in these first few games, Fulham have been very, very solid defensively, very sound. Is this something you've been working on or drilling the players to? Definitely. It's part of the game. Of course, when you don't have the ball, you have two. Uh, we come from a season when we had always 70% of the possession. We knew that in some, some games will be impossible, even if you like, even if you every single day we work to, to, to get it. But you know that uh, the, we have to, to be humble enough to understand the quality that is in the other side. Um, what really gives us the credit is that uh, if you analyze the, the three games that Arsenal played from the, the beginning of the season, even pre-season matches as well, they create a big number of chances. Always they score uh, goals in a different way than they scored this, this evening. And we... We didn't give many for, for them. That is a, is a good sign for us, show that we are in the, in the right track. Of course, on the ball, we have to, to improve and we'll improve, definitely, more what we did in the first half. Um, of course, we need more solutions, definitely, because second half, after the 1-1, the one, the one, one, even the 1-0, with more players on the bench to, to put fresh legs inside, will be completely different with our attack line. But OK, uh, it's what it is. We don't, we don't have right now, but we'll improve for sure. But um, again, I'm... We are working on both sides of the game, on the ball and without the ball. Of course, we, when you don't have the ball, you have to, uh, to, um, to show the compactness, to, the togetherness, the organization that we, we have been shown from the first day. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Hello, Tom. You go. Um, we're, when you say you don't know how the second, how they scored the second goal, was that because you felt there was an infringement on the goalkeeper or just you know, the way No, I'm talking more the way the ball uh, went inside. Uh, I don't know if it was full or not. Um, I'm not here to to discuss this situation. It's for them to decide. I'd like to see the same for both sides. Is what I'd like to see. And I think the best example, how the things change after the the one nil for us, um, is a simple thing. You can say this guy's crazy to talk about it. That goal and was a goal. They decided it was not a fall, not handball. Their decision with respect. Last minute of the game, we had a long throw in, and when the ball comes in the air, it's already giving foul for Arsenal. These things is difficult for us to understand how. Because in one box is not a fall, and when the ball comes in the air, it's so straight away that was fall. This is the, the most difficult for us to understand. If it's goal or not, if it, they should disallow or not, okay, it's for them to decide and I have to respect. But these things has to be the same, has to be balanced for both teams. Doesn't matter if it's Arsenal, if it's Fulham, if they have the crowd around to put pressure, they have to decide in the same way. Sonia, at the back. Again, questions. <laughs> Do you think he's sort of silenced those questions? 
doesn't matter the questions for Mitro. Mitro uh, is playing with full ambition, a full, full desire to show his quality for himself, for me, for my staff, for his teammates, for the people that love him, for his family. The opinions doesn't matter for him. Even I'm 100% sure that he doesn't care about it. He doesn't waste, he doesn't waste time with this situation. Of course, we respect all the opinions. It's, it's, it's our job to respect. But Mitro has to prove for himself and for me that he's in a, in a good place, that he's scoring goals. And not just scoring goals, it's the way he pressed, the way he's working. Um, he scored a good goal, almost scored a second. Was um, If the ball goes inside, was a great, great header from him again. And he has to keep working really hard. He'll score more goals for sure. And he has to prove for myself and from him, from me and for himself that he's in a, in a right place. For the people that makes opinion, and we have to respect just that. Last couple here, guys. We'll go to Nick first, and then Peter Nick. Obviously, different players and different managers <coughs> to the last time Fulham were in the Premier League, but you seem to be a lot more physical and streetwise. Is that fair to say? I don't know. I was not here two seasons ago or three seasons ago or four. I cannot, I cannot compare. It's not my job to compare. Uh, because I would be probably unfair because I don't have all the details uh, with me. I can talk about the last 14 months since I joined the football club, last season and the, the, this season as well. Um, of course, you are in a, in a good place. Probably we could have more points right now that because of the, our performance, what we did, could have more, more, more points. Uh, but we have to keep working this, in this way. I hope the, um, the people that is in the charge in the, the, our board help us because we need to do something as quick as we can because, uh, again, this afternoon was clear on uh, our bench. We didn't have attacking players on our, on our bench. At this level, we cannot uh, play at this level with this, this solution. But all the credits for my players, again, the way they are working, the way they are matching all the our opponents, and we'll do, again, the same in the next Tuesday. Very last question, Peter. Great, great, great performance. Fantastic. Leno is giving us everything what I expected from him. Quality, class, maturity, experience is, is giving everything. We'll give more. Um, great performance from him. Great, great, great. And I know that more will come from him because when I, when I decided to, to sign him, and uh, we have to really please for that. Um, firstly, I was really pleased the, the way he wanted to join us as well. And he's a top, top goalkeeper and will help us a, a lot. This evening was a good example last week as well. And more is coming from him. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.